Alright everyone, MPC Unknown here and welcome to the channel. And in this video we're gonna do a review roundup of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge that releases on the 16th of June 2022. I will be looking at releases on all the consoles or platforms the game is being released on and quoting some of the reviews. So to get to it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is an old school beat em up in the same mold as stuff like Streets of Rage and Double Dragon and is being released on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. On the Nintendo Switch it has an average Metacritic score of 86 and some reviews such as the launcher Washington Post saying Shredder's Revenge achieves everything it sets out to do and will go down as an instant classic for its genre no matter what era whether it's 1987, 19. 89 or 2022, it would be one of the finest, most exciting video games experiences of the year, honing an arcade formula as ageless as, ageless as Turtles in Time. IG, IGN Spain gave it an 80, saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge confirms, as far as beat em ups are concerned, the good form of Dota, a classic exercise that knows how to bring the right novelties without betraying the most conservative canons of the genre which is excellent in terms of gameplay, which is crowded as one of the best video games ever made about the teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles. Moreover, it's just as much fun to play as alone as it is with others, a show value for fans of the genre and fans of the franchise alike. On the PC, it's got an average score of 84, and Digital Times has given it 100, saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is a must play for both for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans and beat em up fans alike. It's a game that takes what works in the past but still finds space to be innovative beyond the fan service and nostalgia to play. If you ever felt like a retro revivals can't do much more than shallow nostalgia, Shredder's Revenge will prove that there's still more than enough room for an old genre to grow. Hardcore Gamer gave it a 90 saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge caters to a specific niche audience but couldn't have done a better job of it. Developers understood what made the arcade, the arcade games great 30 plus years ago and built on it, creating a game that is rooted in style of its predecessors with just enough modernization to feel contemporary. References to classic games and cartoons are sprinkled throughout. Interactions with supporting characters like Vern and Irma are deliberately handled in a manner that would fit in during the 16 era. Shredder's Revenge does rely on nostalgia for a golden age of arcade gaming for players to be completely enamored with it. Without the nostalgia goggles, it's still a great retro beat em up based on its own gameplay merits. But those that grew up with the classic Turtles, it feels like a fragment of childhood has been recreated. There is a bit more of a mixed review for the PC version by the enemy, saying in giving it a 60, saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge does what it sets itself out to do, bring people back to the 80s with straight to a point beat em up experience. Despite that, it remains modern with enemies bringing up proper challenges to the players even when facing the levels with friends. Unfortunately, it, falls to br it fails to bring characters with personality with all the turtles and other fighters doing pretty much the same thing. Most passionate fans will still miss their beloved heroes. On the PlayStation 4, again, has an average rating of 85 mostly positive with one mixed review. Game Space has given it a hundred, saying overall Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge hits all cylinders as one of the top tier Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games that I have ever played. It, mix, it mixes nostalgia and new playability nicely. Game Grin gave it a 95. Like the last slice of pizza, Shredder's Revenge is worth savoring every last second of fun, nostalgia fueled adventure for every fan of these radical dudes has to play. The next review is by Metro Gaming Central and gave it a 70, calling it a lovely crafted retro homage made with skill and obvious affection for the source material, but there's very little attempt at innovation and little interest non-fans playing on their own. The Xbox version has got an 87, with the six reviews for the Xbox all being positive. Pure Xbox, for example, gave it a 90, saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shred Shredder's Revenge is a lovely lovingly crafted and supremely entertaining return to glory days of early 1990s Turtles action with a look and feel that painstakingly recreates the classics such as Turtles in Time while adding a ton of more detail, refining combat and giving you six player online local co-op to boot. This is a fantastic slice of arcade beat-em-ups nostalgia that old hands, diehards and newcomers alike can enjoy in equal measures. 
It is, in short, one shell of a good time. But um, anyway, that's just it for the video. A couple of reviews of the newest Turtles game that have been has been very positively received. What do you think? Is it something you're interested in playing? Do the reviews change or confirm your opinion that you want to play this game? I've been the NPC Unknown. Thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel as I hope to continue to grow. From me to you, this video is game over.